Yo, what's going on, guys? Mine Inking here. Today, we're going to talk about salad. So let's get right into it. So I've been gone for a little while, and you could probably notice that behind me, some stuff's changed. And, um, you know, I've, I've moved, and I've been, went to BC, you know, BTC Nashville, and, you know, went to Kansas, and went to all these places back and forth. So I've been super busy. And I just got back from Kansas, so, you know, it's just been a crazy, I'm going to say like month, because I've been on the go for pretty much an entire month. So far in about a month, collectively, I've driven 5,800 miles, so it's been out of this world. Um, but finally, um, you know, over these next two weeks, I'm going to settle in and start doing some stuff at home. So, um, yeah, so let's get into... Um, Today, I wanted to talk about, you know, salad, because I know there's been kind of a dip off, you know, a, a, you know, a fall off here for, for salad, for vast and other platforms that it hasn't been producing as much. And I think it's kind of has to do one with the economy and then uh, two, it's also going to have to do with schools. Right. Because I think college students use this and they're out on like summer vacation. Right. So they're going to start going to back to school soon. So I do think this is going to start picking back up here pretty soon. Um, but today I wanted to go over some of my earnings and how salad has been doing for me, right, since I started doing salad, right? So let's go ahead and let's bring up my earnings over the last 30 days. All right, so we're over here at my salad right now. And <clears throat> you can see the grand total I've earned. Now, full disclosure, um, some of these earnings, about $200 of this earnings is from affiliate links, right? From people using my salad, and then we both get a, a like a bonus, right? So about $200 for me is what they paid me in referrals for people coming over here. So without the referral codes, I'm at $1,090.08. And I have chopped for a total of 6,451 hours uh, combined. Um, and you can see here uh, that I have a, a balance right now of $328. Um, and then we're going to go over here the last 30 days. So this is probably, you can see here as the machines were on, and I left them on the first time I went out to Missouri, and then I picked them up on the final way out. So you can see here, this is when it starts tapering off, right? This is when I stop earning right here. No earnings, no earnings, no earnings. Oh, I turn it back on just one rig, this 14090 upstairs partially. And over here, you can see I make a couple bucks every day. And then I start bringing the farm online um, around this time, uh, right here in between these couple of days here. So you can see here that I start actually getting jobs now. And now I'm, I'm roughly making about $20 a day total, which isn't bad, right? So, I mean, if you think about it, that's like 600 bucks a month. You know what I mean? I would like this number to get closer to $30. Um, obviously, like I said, things are down. Sometimes I'm rented, sometimes I'm not, you know, it's, I don't have fiber anymore. Right, right now, currently my internet here is, uh, 35 up and 940 down at, you know, at, at the house that I'm renting. So, um, I did take a hit on the internet a little bit, a little bit of a downgrade for me, but you know, um, necessary move. So. This is my current 30 days. And it, like I said, this is broken up because this is when I'm moving and stuff. You can see that this whole, I didn't make anything there, but you can see average of late, I've been making about 20 bucks a day, give or take. So do I recommend salad to people? I do recommend salad because if you're not very savvy with Linux and um, you're not very good at troubleshooting and things like that, I would highly recommend you that you give salad a try. Now, am I telling you to go out and buy a 4090 and go buy a 7950X, 128 gigs of RAM and all this stuff? No, like you need to understand that this is a risk. And if, if I was you, if you have an older computer at home, 
maybe something that's three or four years old, I would definitely use something like that, right? Or maybe go find some museums, or you could even visit the BCPC shop. And Brandon sells an excellent kit that comes with 64 gigs of RAM, which is the right amount to get the, the biggest, you know, paying jobs. So I do plan on doing some more videos in the future with, um, like, you know, bio settings for like IOMMU and uh, SRV and VTD and some of the other settings that are in the BIOS, like kind of a checklist of things that you need to check before you actually get into salad, right? Because everyone's just like kind of clicks and just goes. Sometimes they have virtualization problems. Sometimes they have other problems, you know, where it's not like, you know, working for them. And so this is kind of my checklist that I go through every time I build a machine and I just kind of go through these steps. Now, some of these steps will vary depending upon manufacturer of your motherboard, um, because if you have a Gigabyte or an Asus or a Dell computer or it, all that stuff is going to be worded differently, but it should roughly be the same. So that's going to conclude today's videos, guys. Now. It, you guys can use my referral code down below for salad and we each get a bonus. So it benefits me and you. So it doesn't cost you anything extra, but feel free to use it. It'll be linked down below in the description. All right, guys, this is the money can give giving you the most hashes and I'll see you next time.